Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to Monday Musings. It's Sunday evening. I'm going to be gone all day uh, tomorrow, Monday, while you're watching this. And so I'm g making this video for you. Tonight I've been watching the skating. On, I love the Olympics and I've been watching that. And now I'm going to um, make a video for you. Now I'm going to show you something new. Um, um, most of you are familiar with the We Are Memory Keepers punch board uh, to make an envelope. Well, We Are Memory Keepers just came out with um, several n more boards, new boards, and the one that I liked the best was the one that's called the gift bag board. So I thought that I would show you how to make one. It does come with instructions, and it, you know. I do okay with these, but I have to, sometimes I have to watch a video in order to get it. So I um, went through several sheets of paper <laughs> to get this for you. I found out that um, normal, just regular paper is not strong enough because it kept tearing. My normal just paper kept tearing. So. I had a lot better luck when I used cardstock. So I made this little Valentine box. You know, we've got, we made our die cuts, we made our cards, now we need something to put our gifts in. So here's uh, a little Valentine gift box. I made a really small one for the first one so I could see what I was doing. And as you can see, I decorated it with some of my die cuts. <laughs> so let's make another one. So I'm going to try and do this upside down. It comes with um, a score tool as well, and it comes with your instructions here, plus um, a visual of what it's supposed to look like. So you decide if you want a small, medium, or large gift bag, and then you cut your width of your paper to 10 inches for small, 11 inches for medium, and 12 inches for large. I cut mine at 12 inches. And then the next thing is to trim the paper length between 4 inches and 12 inches. Well, I did mine at 4 inches when I did my sample, and this one is about 6, 6.5 inches. This is the rest of my piece of cardstock, and it still is um, short enough so that, that you know you can see the, the end here, and you can see what I'm doing. You can make them, these gift bags, as tall as 12 inches but you want to, well, I think it, it ends up being 10 inches once you fold in the, the flaps, but for me starting out, I wanted to do it to where I could uh, see my end and where I w could do my score lines without having to go off of my tool. So that's what, that's how I came up with this length. <laughs> and so this is one that's a small at four inches and you know that's that's not too bad that's a nice little um, gift bag for a small piece of, well I guess small candy heart or a ring box or something like that okay so the first instruction is that you come here on your start line and you line this up on your start line and you punch okay and because I'm still new at this, I'm going to have my instructions. We're going to start, and I would love to do this um, with with it facing you, but this is the second video I've made because I didn't do it right when I would had it not facing me. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So let's go for it. I'm going to keep my instructions right next to me because... I messed it up the first time. So I'm going to align my left edge with my start line. And there's my cat. Come on. Okay, and push it all the way up in there as far as you can go. Line this up and punch. Okay, then I'm going to score the horizontal line which is right here you want to be careful not to score too deeply and then the small line because I'm making this small because it's 10 inches 
if I was making 11 I'd do the medium or large I'd do the uh, 12 inches I'd do the large okay so then I'm going to shift my paper to where that that, full, that score line I made is right here on the start line I'm going to punch again it's a little bit too far away from me to get a good punch <laughs> okay and then I'm going to score the horizontal again I'm going to score the side line and this side line and then I'm going to score the triangle lines as well okay move it forward there we go match up that uh, the farthest score line with the start line punch again I have to stand up there we go this time we're going to score the small line and the horizontal line let's move this to the start line again and punch one more time this time we're going to score the horizontal both side lines and the triangle line let's move this to our last score line and punch one more time okay so here's what we're what we end up with okay we've got two uh, solid panels and two panels that have some triangle lines in them. Now I'm going to turn this around. Well, first of all, I'm going to take this small tab and I'm going to clip it at an angle on both ends. Okay. Then I'm going to turn this around and on this edge there is a a line see if I can do this sideways this one sideways and we're going to put the score lines there and we're going to punch and we get holes so we'll go to each score line let's see let's go to this one this part is optional if you don't want to do this part you don't have to you go to the next score line okay and this line at the end okay I've got my holes whoops I'm missing one right here I skipped a line Okay. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. And, whoops, I got a punch there that didn't quite come out. This must be one I didn't stand up for. Okay. Get these out of my way. And I'm going to take this uh, bone folder and I'm going to. I want to make sure I, I didn't do that on the right side. Okay, so then I'm going to crease my folds. Again, don't use over much pressure because you don't want your um, your score lines to to tear, especially if you're using. Uh, paper or cardstock that is not very thick. Okay, and I didn't use the bone folder on those because it wasn't really necessary. Okay, so then you're going to take adhesive. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this over on itself. 
and I think I should have, yeah, I should have punched a hole right there, but, you know, so just for our purposes, I'm going to cut that down farther. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to put adhesive on the front side of this tab. Now I'm just using my little um, my little easy dots adhesive, but you can use score tape or red line tape here to make sure that it that it um, stays together. So then we're just going to match the sides. I want to match the bottom edge. There we go. Okay, you can adhere that, and then we can fold in our flaps, and let's see, let's, so let's put some adhesive, pull these out for a moment, so I'm going to put some adhesive on this, this edge, and on this edge and then on this edge okay fold these in put my hand down inside to make sure that they adhere And then you can fold in on your gusset creases here. That's what those are. Those are gussets. Okay. And there you have your gift bag. And then you can take ribbon. And I didn't get a second piece of ribbon out. I should have. But you can you can see that you can take your ribbon and put it in the holes and use it to draw as a drawstring. And then you can decorate the sides. And I remember cutting these out uh, a few weeks ago. And you could position that on the side, a large one. Or I have two more of my Cupid die cuts here. And you can glue those to the sides as well. No, I always want to do that upside down. Okay, so here's, if this is, I like this punch board, I really do. I like my envelope punch board and I like this one too because after a few tries you, you can get, you get it and you can make a taller gift bag than this you can make a larger gift bag than this this is the small and I think they're really, really cute and you can use them for a lot of different uh, things you can also um, before you put this on your punch board you can also take some of your movers and shapers dies and make cutouts uh, and then put acetate uh, behind them so that you can have windows in your gift bags so, um, I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.